Hello, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to run over this 2014 Subaru XV. A bit before I do so and a bit about us. So Pacific Toyota, we run two large pre-owned vehicle yards here in Cairns. This one being my main location at 235 to 251 Mulgrave Road. Across the road, I do have my lovely service center, Lexus of Cairns showroom and new vehicle showroom as well. Look, the Virtual 2 is basically designed to go around the car in complete detail. Um, basically to represent it in its current condition. It's about having as much transparency as possible because at the end of the day, if you buy the car and you're out of town, the car's going to rock up on a truck and you're going to see the marks or anything on the car either way. So we like to address that early and to have full transparency. So just starting with the front bumper and working my way around. The first thing that's pretty common on these is there's a little bit of fogginess on the and sun damage on the top of the headlight. The front of the headlight's very much intact and perfect. It's just that top half there that's sort of more in direct sunlight. Um, coming around the front bumper itself, um, it's pretty well looked after. There's no real major marks, bumps or bruises through there. Um, it's all very well looked after. Just coming up to the bonnet. It does have the bonnet protector on there just to obviously have that added protection. But just coming across, there's a couple of little marks on the bonnet, like here. So one, two, three. So it looks like something's just scraped it slightly across there. Um, another one just here as well, very minor. Um, and there was a couple of others just through here. So nothing too major, but just those couple of marks in that bonnet there. Um, just wanted to go over that completely with you. Um, just coming back down, once again, top of the headlight, not as bad as the other side, but a little bit of, um, I suppose, fogginess on top there. Um, just coming up the guard to the base of the A-pillar, a little bit of a mark just here. Just coming there and back down. So all very well looked after. Just coming up over there. Plenty of tread on the tyres, so you're not up for a set of tyres anytime soon. There's no gutter ash on the rims, so all very well looked after. Um, just continuing down the panel work of the car. Once again, there's a little bit of a mark just through here. Very minor though. Um, just continuing down the side of the car. Once again, another little mark just through here. Another one just here as well. And just making my way down to the back. Now, there is a bit of a mark through here on the guard. Um, so it's just that there and back down. Once again, rear wheel, plenty of tread. No gutter ash on the rim, so all very well looked after through there. Just gonna come up to the top of the rear pillar. There's a bit of a mark just through here. It's been resealed by the looks of things. On top. So there's a little bit of a blemish through here as well, but nothing too major. Um, door cards, once again, all very well looked after, very clean and tidy. Um, same with inside, all immaculate. Just coming up to the top of that seat there, back into the center console. Through there. I'll just do the same for the rear. So all through there, all very well looked after. Rear seats, needs a bit of a clean, a bit of stuff and just in here. It's all right, everything gets a full detail before it leaves here. So that's all very well looked after through there as well. Um, like I said, the car has been very well looked after. Just zooming back, going around that rear bumper. It's got the scuff guard on there, which is pretty cool. Um, tow bar as well. So that's all through there. That was a bit of a mark just through here on the boot. Nothing too major. Um, it's got the rear boot mat in there. It's all very well looked after. Um, floor underneath it looks somewhat immaculate. Um, so you got all that through there. Um, on the back, there was a little bit of a scuff just here. But once again, 
nothing too major all very well expected um, just come around to the back bumper here a couple of marks as well you can sort of see that just on that corner and ridge just there um, just coming at the bit around the back plenty of tread on the tires there is a bit of gutter ash on this rim though so that one just there um, so just going to continue down the panel work on the car Another little couple of marks through here. Uh, one, two. And just coming all the way to the front. Um, to the front tyre that's got plenty of tread on it and no gutter rash. So just coming back up to do the roof line. I'll do the door cart on this side as well. Oop. <laughs> Didn't want to stay open for me. Through there. All through the back here. All that through there. All very clean and tidy. And up there. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna jump on in. Turn it on. Okay. So on the clock there, we've got um, 80,404. So just on the 80,000 mark. Um, steering wheel controls, cruise control, controls for the screen and up the top here in your, in your audio system. Um, so you've got this little control window up here, or multi-information display. Again, your standard aircon controls and radio um, all through there. Um, I will go over the service history of the car because it's been very well maintained. Um, where is it? So service book's just here. Okay, so... First service was done at 3,800, next down 7, 10, 17, 9, 23, 26, 7, um, let's go over a page, uh, 45, 1, 55, 8, 68, 9, and 79, 9. So, full logbook service history there, um, very well looked after. Uh, it's a credit to the previous owners, they've done very good at maintaining the car. Obviously got a couple of little bumps and bruises here and there, but look if that's a concern, let me know. Um, but that concludes the virtual tour for today. Um, any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call on 0410 839 933. Thank you.